Hey guys, I'm going to make this really short and talk about what being 16 has been like. First up, I went to Dream Tour for the second time because my parents see I worked really hard in life. So that's exciting and, and just a fun little thing. Like they see I worked really hard in life with doing a bunch of things. And no, I do not have a job yet. I'm trying to turn social media into a job. By the way, if I hit a thousand subscribers, I will come up with a really fun video idea for you guys, and I'll make a really fun link. I'll, like, try to put more effort into my content, and my YouTube videos anyway, my TikToks, and my Instagram. That's not going to change, because I feel like my TikToks, I put a good amount of effort into them, like there's something. Go follow my TikTok while we forever run. And my Instagram, well that's not going to change. And like, yeah, but I will put more effort into my YouTube videos. And also, on top of it, I'm, a, I'm very excited because something happened when I was 16 that like, I'm still like, wait, what? That actually happened, but it did weird. And if, so this is part of why I really want to get to a thousand subscribers. But a couple of weeks ago, maybe like a month or two ago, like it was a little while ago, ago a dance teacher that I worked with once, and so, who everybody calls her Slaley. And she, I think her name is Kaylee, but everyone calls her Slaley. And basically, including, like, her whole thing is she's a, like, disabled dance teacher. And, like, her whole thing is that she shows that, like, I, you can be in a wheelchair and still dance. You can be sitting down and still dance and look just as good as... The person who's not sitting down. You know, like, it's what you do with it. And stuff. But I worked with her because she, in her and guy group, taught a free dance class on Zoom a while ago. And apparently she had so much fun working with me, which was really cool. Because I enjoyed working with her. That she reached out a few weeks ago and asked. And she was going to see me in her class on Zoom. And I told her if I get the Groom Interactive Scholarship, she will. And if I, or if I hit a thousand subscribers. And that's going to be like my thing that I'm doing for me. If I hit a thousand subscribers. I'm going to celebrate by taking a dance class. And uh, that's how I'm going to celebrate for me, and then I'm going to put more effort into my content, and I'll try to, like, work on music and stuff. Because I've been working really hard in voice lesson. Today is my last voice lesson, being 16 years old. And, yeah, like, life has gone pretty good. But one thing that I still am, like, I can't believe happened is I can't for XOG pop. I'm also going to talk about one thing that like I wish never happened because it literally is like basically one of my worst nightmares that it actually happened and I'm like not that scary it's just like it's more embarrassing than it is scary. And it was really pulling out the perfectionist side of me. And the perfectionist side of me was, like, really annoyed. And I'm going to get into that, but I danced spotlighted on some Brex from pop And that was a dream come true. Because I didn't think that I would ever meet XMG pop even on Zoom. And then to not only meet them, but get to dance for them to one of their songs. Personally, it's a good song. Go check it out, Mary Go Round by XMG Pop. Good song. Two thumbs up.
But anyway, anyway, I only have two thumbs. Like, technically, I would give it so many thumbs up, but I can only do two thumbs up, you know, like, right now. Good song. But anyway, that was really cool. On to the thing that wasn't great. And I thought after a week it would kind of, like, everyone would kind of forget about it and move on. And then, you know, I got picked to do a solo, spotlighted on Zoom, in a free Groove Interactive dance class on Saturday. And it was on a Saturday. And then I worked really hard in the class I was doing. And I was having fun, and I felt I was doing pretty good. And then, here's the thing. I would pick to do a solo, so nobody else was dancing, only me. And then, I got so caught up that day in just having fun. And also, I got a little bit too overconfident. And then, and so... Oh, um, well, no, what had happened was Guy Groom let his assistant pick someone, and they chose me, so I got to do a solo. That did not end well. Don't worry, like, I know broken bones, nothing like that. It just ended very embarrassing. Because, and um, so I, like, I, so I started improv at the beginning, because we're allowed to, like, we're allowed to add a little bit of improv at the beginning and the very end. So I pulled out a little bit of improv, like, oh, I got this. I'm, like, just really confident and, like, yeah, I got this. And because I love improv and improv the st- one thing in dance that, like, I feel like I do the most of when it comes to, like, actual combos and stuff, I'm really good at improv um, and, and I'm good at it because I work on it. There's times when I'll be in my room when I'm done filming, and I'll just start improv to, like, no music. It's like the music playing in my head, and it's almost like I can hear it, but I don't actually hear it sort of thing. I get so into it that it feels like I can hear it, but it's not actually playing. And, and that I know it's in my head. It's playing in my head. That's how to put it. And then it was time for the actual combo part. The beginning, I did pretty good. And then I started to kind of forget it. So I just kind of kept dancing and, like, I tried to figure it out. Even though I, like, kind of knew that, like, oh, I forgot that. And then I was trying to just figure it out and get back on track. Like, get back at it and, like, just nail the rest of it. And then I just forgot basically the entire combo. And then and Kai Crew made this one sound that he made. So whenever we do the one, like, move or something, or the one, like, part, he would, like, I kind of make the Pacific sound, he would say, like, a Pacific word or something, and, and then, and he, like, started saying it, so, like, I, I did that part, or, and then I, like, forgot the entire dance, and then the very ending, I pulled out some more improv, and then, like, I could tell Guy Groom was being so nice about it, just being, like, Oh yeah, look at Lolly, she pulled out some jumps and turns and, and stuff like that, like, when just celebrating the improv And then all I could think of was, I'm better than that. And like, what just happened? <laughs> because I have physically had nightmares about being spotlighted on Zoom, forgetting the dance. And as a dancer, forgetting the dance is a big no-no. You never want to forget the dance. But I kept going because I know that it's worse to stop and freeze than it is to just figure something out and just keep going. 
because the second you show that you forgot, that's when everyone knows you forgot it. So anyways, so yeah, that was a thing, and then that was generally a thing, and then I was very annoyed that day. I was annoyed because I work really hard, and I know I'm better than that. And I'm a perfectionist, so of course I was disappointed that I forgot to dance that. Uh, is an easy beginner. Well, no, it, like, I was, it wasn't beginner, it was intermediate. So, like, not advanced, not beginner. So, of course I was very disappointed. Because I'm used to, like, nailing really challenging advanced stuff. And this is, like, an intermediate dance, which is easier to do. And, like, I forgot. Like, I was so annoyed over that. And then over time, I got over it. And then the next week, I was on, like, oh, like, everybody forgot about it. And then I realized that they hadn't. And how I realized that was, like, no one was being mean or anything, but, like, I someone had put a direct message in the chat to direct it towards me, so, like, I only, me, and that person could see it. And they, like, didn't say anything mean. They were just, like, are you ready for class? And I'm, like, I, yeah. And they're, like, well, that's good. And I could kind of tell that, like, I, I don't know if they were, like, oh, they were, they remember me forgetting it, and, like, they were seeing, referencing towards that, or they were just, like, oh, are you ready for class? Like, that sort of thing. I don't think they were being mean. So, anyways, that's all. I'm gonna say peace out. Bye. Hopefully this video was just a fun little video for you to... Kind of hear a little bit about what being 16 looks like for me.